Alright, hey guys, today we're going to be comparing the speed of a SDHC 4GB Kodak memory card compared to the SanDisk Cruiser Micro 4GB, both exactly the same amount of space due to the fact because space um, actually matters when it comes to speed because the more space you got, uh, the, the faster the drive by a little bit because the drive can boost really fast and then slow down towards the end I don't know if you really know what I'm saying if you want a more in-depth look please look at some solid state drive reviews and if you you'll notice that the higher drive the capacity the faster the drive also depends on the controller alright this is gonna be the memory card I'm using the SDHC card to compare this is exactly the same card and this is going to be the 4 gigabyte black right here. That's going to be the, um, ex it looks exactly like that except it says 4 gigs right here. And it's going to be comparing against the SDHC. Alright then. Now let's, I got these random files right here. And let's see the properties. Alright, they're like, we can say like 194 megs. So almost 200 megs of files. Alright, there are a lot of small files, so that will be like like a lot of small files and let us, instead of one big file. A lot of small files usually takes a longer amount of time than one big file in my recent like study, like, sh like what I've seen. So, I don't know, everybody's different. I am using a MacBook Pro, but I'm running Windows and I don't like this MacBook Pro, so don't contradict me on Mac user. You think I like using it? No, not really. So I'm running Windows at least to get away from it. I do have a desktop though, which is a PC and it's custom. I built it, so yeah, that's my main rig, but I'm not home right now, so yeah, we're just gonna do this video. Alright, let me first, we're gonna do the SDHC. Plugged it in. Alright, there we go pops up open to view files nothing clean alright that's just proof right there it's clean alright we're gonna take these random files and we're gonna put them in here and see how long it takes alright look at the details alright it's like right now we're averaging you gotta you wanna look at it when it gets to the middle that's like the peak so I saw a peak of 8 megs a second 8 megs per second, that's what I'm seeing, like the peak. Alright, now it should slow down, 8.3 megs per second. Alright then, 8.3 megs per second, remember that guys. Alright, now we're going to have to take the, um, we're going to take the SDHC card out. Alright, now we're going to put in the micro. Mm -hmm. Sandisk Cruiser Micro. Um, yeah, whatever. This is just stupid stuff. Alright, I don't know why I have this ready boost in here, but this is not my flash drive. Now it's clean. Alright then. Oh, never mind, it's not. Here, we'll completely reformat it for you guys. Restore defaults start press ok should be done any second alright now it has to be clean 100% clean alright so on the other one we saw 8.3 let's see on this alright so far it looks slower um, right now the SDHC is winning I have not seen anything peak up into the 8 mags we are still seeing the SDHC and performance may be better on your computer because I'm using um, a laptop but this is just a like reference point to see which one is faster in like using the same exact um, test computer but just different devices alright from my observations I see that the um, I see that the SDHC is faster, but you have to remember, not every computer has an SD card reader. So, the USB may be more um, functional in other places, but if you're looking for the highest performance, and you want 
like blazing fast speeds compared to a USB. I know it's not much, but every time that extra one meg can actually do a difference. So yeah, thank you, and that will be my video review of SDHC versus USB 2.0. Thanks.